This show is proudly sponsored by TraderCobb.com, the leaders in checklist-based trading strategy. Yes, that's exactly how it sounds. I'll teach you a literal checklist so you can tick off items and be decisive very quickly. Get across to TraderCobb.com where there's a bunch of free content there for you to have a look at. And of course, if you're interested in having me come to your city, click and register for the live events coming up and filling fast. Have a great day. Visit TraderCobb.com now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. G'day, guys, and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Podcast. Hope you're having a great day. Today, we're going to go into, once again, the journey of the trader, or the trader's journey, I should say. I always get that mixed up for some reason. And um, I wanted to discuss with you or speak to you about team. Now, the reason I speak about team today is because, look, the last couple of days, uh, I've been hard at work in this studio with some great people in my team. Uh, we've been all together. I've, we flew Luke, the apprentice, up, and I had one of the wonderful community members, uh, Bryce, come out with his cameras, and we shot some stuff against the green screen, some, some new stuff that we've not done before. A really exciting progression, really enjoying the steps that we're taking, super proud of what we're doing at the moment, I, and I can't wait to see the end result, more importantly, I can't wait till you see it. But um, yeah, it, it just made me think, you know, how great the people I have around me are. And I thought to myself about other teams that I've worked within, and it brought me back to trading as well, because you can be in a team where it's toxic, where you, you know, for example, at work, you, you go into work and you might not want uh, to be at work, you, you might have a toxic manager or, or just bad people around you that are always bringing you down and dragging the energy out of you. And it's just so important to have the right people to work with that are going to bring the best out in you. Now, of course, I'm talking about my team that runs this business that helps all the people that we need to and all the people in our communities and all that sort of stuff. I've got a great team. We've pan picked them. They've grown a lot and we've thrown an awful lot at them this year. I mean, we've had so much go on and we've grown a great deal. And I'm so proud of what we've all achieved. But it got me to thinking about my trading team because I had a different trading team to what I do now. For example, when I was in London, I was more or less by myself for most of those years. And that was the whole reason for creating the community um, in this Slack group is because um, I, I just really believe that if I had other people trading the same strategies as what I was, that I would learn a lot more um, and I'd learn a lot faster and I'd be able to have different mentors, people that uh, had already had success or were a year or two ahead of me or just picked it up quicker. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, time doesn't necessarily make you a better trader. Um, it generally does if you take the right steps, but uh, some people pick it up quicker than others and that's just the fact of life and everything really. But what I was thinking was, who's in my team now? Oh, and for me, my team really evolves around my community. Um, I, I don't trade any longer with any of the guys. I mean, they're still there in, in Skype, the old school. Uh, we all use Slack and Facebook and whatnot now, but or oh, Discord and all the different uh, telegrams and whatnot. But for me, my community is my trading buddies. It, it's, it's my it's my team, and and it's such a good thing. Like there are a, a heap of people in there. And they're all looking for the same things I'm looking for. Now, sometimes I'll weigh in and I'll say, hey, look, you know, maybe you want to reconsider this. Or more often than not, if somebody says, what do you think of this? I'll say, first of all, well, what do you think of this? <laughs> you know, don't hinge your decision based on me. I want you to make a decision. And then I'll let you know if there's anything to reconsider. And, um, and each and every member within the community also helps to, to keep each other honest, I suppose. Then there's the mentoring. So people send in their screenshots and I'll, do a, I'll, I'll go through all their trades and, and I'll do mentoring and I'll, I'll walk them through each of their trades. And They'll, they'll get to watch that as feedback, which is great. And that's what I give back to that community as well. But there's also other people that are in my team, uh, my trading team. And it's kind of, well, when, I, when I talk about trading, I talk about having to be uh, at one with yourself, centered, feeling good. I always talk about, you know, if I'm not feeling great, I won't trade. And because I do have chronic fatigue syndrome, it does mean that there are periods of time when I, I just won't trade because I'm just, just not feeling good enough. Um, so... The other areas, the other people that are in my team are external to the market. So today, for example, I will be going and seeing a Bowen therapist who I've been seeing for the last 18 months. And uh, essentially, 
she takes all the, I know it might sound a bit strange, but she takes a lot of the stress out of me, a lot of the energy, the pent up frustrations and whatnot that you just carry day to day and you don't really realize it. And as a business owner and as a trader, they're both pretty intense things to take on and, and, and you don't realize how much you're actually carrying until you release that. So it's a really important member of my team that I haven't seen for two months. And I realized, because after doing all the content we've been doing and recording and standing and presenting for the last two days, I was like, man, I feel, I feel one, very happy that it's done because today I'm just shot. I'm really, really tired. So not to the point that I'm feeling sick or anything, but to the point where I'm feeling like, you know what? I've got to take some of my own advice here. Like I've got to get back into seeing that member of my team. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and I'm going to see my Bowen therapist this evening or this afternoon. And I'm going to get myself back into that release. I'm going to let all that negative energy out that I feel that I am carrying. And sometimes as simple as noticing that by you laying in bed trying to relax and you find yourself clenching the tooth, you know, your, your jaws are clenched together or your tongue's pushing the top of your mouth or you're always at that higher level. And, and that's really, you know, you carry too much on board and it, it won't bring out the best in you. So coming back to the team thing, I'm going to be seeing my Bowen therapist tonight to try and help get me a bit, a bit more grounded. I also have a therapist that I work with from time to time, usually once a month. I haven't seen her for a while either. I need to get that booked in. And I see a hypnotherapist as well, again, as an area of make sure that I stay on the path that I wish to stay on. So I do have a pretty solid team around me to be able to work at the, way, work at the level that I do and, keep, again, sorry, and remain focused throughout. So I want you guys to really challenge yourself today and think about because the, there might not be that many great opportunities for trades today. Now, I might be wrong. I'm going to do the scan in about nine minutes. But um, I want you guys to really consider who's in your team. And your team, you don't have to spend money for your team, by the way. Your team can be as simple as the friends that you have around you, your support partner, your partner, your husband, your wife, your kids, your best mate. Um, who's in your team and how often are you calling on them? How often are you using... Or not using is a bad word, but how often you're calling on them for the support that you need or, or, or getting that release, that stress, that conversation, whatever it may be for you, that brings you back to that, oh, you need to reset, come back from this level, back down to this level. If you're a surfer, if you're if someone who's in the water all the time, you do a lot of exercise, then that used to be what mine was. But because of the fatigue, I can't do that quite so much anymore. So I've had to alter the way that I operate. And I have done, and it was working, and I've stopped using them. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Who's in your team and how often are you getting the most out of them? And should you replace some team members or should you add some team members? Team is a huge part of being you and it's a huge part of being a successful trader because it helps you to be the best version of yourself. So have a great day. Have a think about that and I wish you all the best. Bye for now. This show is proudly sponsored by TraderCobb.com, the leaders in checklist-based trading strategy. Yes, that's exactly how it sounds. I'll teach you a literal checklist so you can tick off items and be decisive very quickly. Get across to TraderCobb.com where there's a bunch of free content there for you to have a look at. And of course, if you're interested in having me come to your city, click and register for the live events coming up and filling fast. Have a great day. Visit TraderCobb.com now.